Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Truth Council 23 with me, Truth Nunez, and our spiritual council. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of you. Uh, the number 11. Okay, we're going into a new pathway as we read for the couples. So, welcome, welcome to the newlyweds. Welcome to the new couples. Welcome to the older couples. Uh, welcome, welcome to you all. We're so honored, we're grateful, and we're thankful to be here with all of you. Welcome to the thruples because there's a thruple in the field apparently for some is that right my lovies welcome to everybody welcome welcome to your couples read so this was uh, one of the uh, winning uh, categories um we just did the, we did the singles read which also oddly enough had people that were kind of a single but not really uh so it's okay we have different definitions i guess but it's all right my lovies so take what resonates and leave what doesn't in this read because uh, this is technically the couples read uh, a couple to me is like an established you know, unit uh, working together um, in all forms, intimacy and everything to move forward in life or wherever they want to go. Um, but uh, uh, and then we also we're also going to do something about Olson, something about arson. We're also going to do a uh, finances read. So those were the uh, no, not finances. Categ uh, the categories were finances, singles, couples, and career. And singles, couples, and career one. So we're going to do career last, but you are next. So the couples read. So welcome. Welcome to everybody. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started right away by honoring and thanking our spiritual council. I want to honor and thank my grandmama, Abuelita Gladys Nunez Maldonado. I also want to honor and thank my grandpapa, Abuelito Felix Antonio Nunez. I invite you to do the same. I do honor and thank your trusted ancestors, those that protect and love and guide you. I invite you to honor whatever religious force, whatever spiritual force, whatever makes you feel good, grounded, and connected to the all. As you are in this experience, you can also take a moment of silence to be in silence with yourselves. That's also more than enough. Let's get started, my lovies. Um, my lovies, uh, some type of a discharge is coming in. Someone was discharged from the military. 212 on the clock uh february could be 212 february 12th could be very significant for some uh february 13th february 14th you could be doing something with your significant other on those dates but for some of you i am getting a uh some type of discharge whether it be an honorable discharge or dishonorable someone was discharged or will be discharged from the military for some and then you're gonna have to move a penske truck just went by and then you're gonna have to move my lovey boom by good for some somebody could have been staying on base i wanna be the very best oh my gosh should we go with this pokemon for some of you like pokemon my lovies someone liked or they like or they liked pokemon go <laughs> i'm saying like someone driving around for pokemon that's interesting and other things We just did uh, the reading for technically the 12th of February. So if you want to check that out too, I'm sure there will be some correlations there for you. Correlations for your situations. For some of you, a situationship. Okay. Something about Grey's Anatomy. For some of you, you like Grey's Anatomy. For some of you, a lobotomist is coming in. For some of you, it could be a lobotomist or someone's a lobotomist. I want to be the very best. And someone wants to be the very best. And so they stress. Don't stress, my lovies. You're the best just by being naturally you. I want to be the very best. That's all you can do is just be you. A Gemini is coming in who never lies. For some of you, got a Gemini who never lies, my lovies. Someone's birthday is in June, late May or early June. A Gemini who never lies. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, ah, e. <laughs> For some of you, have a hidden enemy. Anissa. For some of you, look at today's reading. Alicia or Felicia. There's a concubine for some of you, a concubine. For some of you, you're definitely in some type of like a, a throuple. 
But you're okay. I'm getting, I'm okay. You're okay with it. Bon. On y va, my lovies. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelita, the name Eudis. To mi abuelita Gladys Núñez Maldonado. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mi abuelito Félix Antonio Núñez. To mamá Merce. To mamá Merce. To mamá Merce. To Shango. To Shango. To Shango. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Yemaya. To Sakmat. To Sakmat. To Sakmat. To my art, to my art, to my art, to the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? To the all, to your unconditional love and your mercy, to your divine wisdom, to your all knowing, to your all being, to your all seeing power. What are the highest messages, the most truthful messages, the most just messages? In love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and mercy, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor, in love and truth and judgment, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and kindness, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and wisdom, in love and truth and courage, in love and truth and honor. What is up? What is up? What is up? Hot stuff. How's it flowing? How's it going? What's popping? What's cracking? We're reading for my couples. Reading for my couples. We're reading for my couples. It is true. We're reading for you. It is true. We're reading for you. Um, let us see, my lovies. Let's start with the 32 right away, my lovies, because I am seeing for some of you, you're in a solid couple. I'm seeing the king of clubs to the queen of clubs together with the king of hearts. For some of you, uh, in this present moment or the waves that you are riding, ain't nothing breaking your stride, ain't nothing breaking your ride for some of you. So then I'll pimp my ride for some of you. You or your significant other could be getting some type of like uh, something done to the vehicle or something done to a vehicle. For some of you, you share a vehicle with your significant other. For some of you uh, and his brother. For some of you, you could be helping out a brother, uh, your your significant other's brother, uh, as a female or male. Take it how it resonates, but it is coming in as a female, uh, and uh, you and your significant other are helping the spectrum. For some of you, uh, someone could be getting on their feet. For some of you, somebody can be going to work for a call center. Your significant other's brother. For some of you, you're really embedded into the family. Ace of Hearts energy. Like you actually have like a couple. For some of you, you have a couple. Like my definition, you know, to each his or her own. But for me, like you actually have a home, a couple. Uh, you're building together. He loves you. I told you, King of Hearts energy. I'm like, you ain't got nothing. For some of you, you have a loyal, 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 committed relationship. Uh, so this is why for some, you know. Um, when I read the general reads, I love to work with the 32 because I feel like it gives us a diverse uh, amount of energies. Um, because for some, your relationship is solid. <laughs> you really have nothing to worry about. This person is committed to you for some of you. Uh, you have King of Hearts energy, a very, very well-meaning. I'm seeing the King of Hearts with the, Queen of Heart with the Queen of Hearts. Okay, for some of you, a sister's involved in a situation too and her mister as well. Uh, for some of you, maybe your sister and her mister. Uh, she made a mystery man. For some of you, a mystery man. For some of you, you could be meeting your sister's mister as well who will be getting into a committed relationship um, because I am feeling something very committed for a sister for some uh that's what spirit's giving us uh after maybe some time of kind of like you know sleeping around that's how it's coming in i'm just the messenger uh you know it is what it is and it's not a big deal but she kind of feels like it's a big deal but she's finally found the one so for some of you or she's found someone that has a strong potential for her to be with and commit to uh for some of you i am getting the queen of clubs the king of clubs and the king of hearts that combination in a reading is very very uh auspicious it's very beautiful it's it just speaks to blessed energies in the home in the couple and i really do feel it as well so my my lovies my cards are just basically they're recommending he's recommended for some of you somebody could be recommending somebody to you or you're gonna recommend someone to a sister anyways you're gonna recommend a, a good man for some but uh for others uh you have yourself a very solid couple you and your significant other 
it is the real deal you are committed to each other for some of you you could be engaging or taking your commitment to a higher level for some of you even your ancestors your father can get along with the person as well especially your father for some um for some of you there's a lot of commitment this person's very committed to you and whatever it is you need this is so beautiful my love He's juice 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 uh someone could have a nickname juice uh someone something about juicy something about uh what is a juicy squirts I don't know. For some of you, here comes your intimacy too. Sex life, great with this person. Everything great with this person. 10, 13, October 13th could be significant. You could be dealing with a Libra, but there is a judicial procedure for some. For some of you, you may have to uh, supply. For some of you, Matt, there's a supply order for some. Here go with the supply order. A U-Haul is going by too. For some of you, you need to move or your significant other needs to move um, or his brother too. For some of you, a lot of movement, uh, a bunch of trucks about moving but uh it's gonna be fine you have an arrangement uh i feel like almost stopping here for some of you um everything looks good with with the relationship and the commitment for some of you you have to help your significant other um or maybe his father uh through some type of judicial procedure eventually or later on this year especially through june gemini season For some of you, uh, the islands, the Caribbean, somewhere where yucca is eaten can be significant. 1104, Ol 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 Olivia. 1104, 110, a Scorpio could be significant for some. 1104, 1105, uh, November 4th, November 5th, a Libra through justice, because uh, that's technically 11 energy, which is justice. Uh, but Spirit's also asking us to add 1104, which is six energy, the choice, the lovers. So definitely Gemini, a legal procedure in June for some. Uh, for some of you, you could be getting married in June or taking your relationship to the next level or maybe buying a house together. Uh, maybe for some of you, something about, here we go with the sweater weather. Definitely watch today's reading for some, but I kind of want to expose my forehead for some reason. This person likes to kiss your forehead for some um, and you love it. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> it's cute. I like him. I love him. He's 11.51. One. And then 1104 and 1105, seven energy, uh, cancer energy. So definitely a long distance move for some and definitely things with the vehicle or you ha or you or a U haul, a U haul. You have to get a U haul for some to move certain things. You have to move from a house with your spouse. Oh, this one wants to sneak right in there. Okay. For some of you, um, there could be travels like to the Caribbean because I'm getting somewhere where Yucca, like Jamaica could be significant for some, the Turks and Caicos I am getting for some, Tobago I'm getting for some. This man, King of Hearts, I told you, this person freaking loves the shit out of you. <laughs> I am seeing a Jack of Spades with an Eight of Spades though, why? For some of you, you may have a significant other who's into some stuff. I am, I'm trying to ignore it, but again, check today's reading if you'd like. For some of you, someone could be, because I'm getting like dimes and nickels. And um, for some of you, you could be dating someone that sells stuff, like stuff they're not supposed to sell. Not uh, something about Excel sheets. Someone tracks something on Excel sheets. Someone has a business computer. <laughs> someone uh has brought technology or uses technology for illegal dealings um whatever that means to you for some that's what's coming in for some it's like keeping track of inventory and excel sheets but it's like inventory of like i don't know fentanyl for example 1331 mirroring energy in the separate direction 1331 there is going to be an ending a uh, 31st of a month could be significant so when would the next 31st be may 31st Again, that would put us in Gemini energy. For some of you, you're I'm getting like a ride to die. Take that how it resonates. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. For some, it's like if somebody were to go to prison or whatever the case may be, it's like you would want to be right there with your man or holding this person down or woman. Take it how it resonates. I am getting a female. But King of Hearts energy and a queen, queen, queenie queamy okay and a queen of diamonds for some of you we did feel that queen of diamonds around your significant other for some there's a man who loves you but they're uh ele cole ele cole uh 1411 uh 1411 more seven energy especially during july 
you'll notice that an ex is going to want to come around this person. If your significant other has children with somebody else for some, um, this person is going to want to like, she is after this man. Uh, over, uh, after money, uh, Overland, here we go with this Overland energy, a blonde female, uh, and another gentleman involved in a situation, communication, changes, and a contract. Uh, this person could be looking for more money so that she can pay for her rent. Uh, this person is interested in going after someone's pockets. So for some of you, uh, in July or a little bit later in the year, you're going to get communication from a lawyer, uh, someone it's going to surprise you because they're going to ask for more money. Uh, this is from this female who is after your man for some. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. For some of you, you can have a divorcee or someone, again, that's separated. And this person is jaded. The female, she's pissed. She's mad uh, and she wants more money from this person because she wants more energy from this person. She wants more time and uh, uh, something about Tanya. Uh, she's kind of a harasser and she's on his ass. That's always coming in. But she wants more money from this person for some, for some that that does not apply to. There is a female who's actually very well off who's after your man for some. Uh, so just being cautious with that. I think you have nothing to worry about. Uh, this is going to surprise you. She's going to try to invite this person into some type of business deal with another gentleman. There's going to be a lot of communication and there's going to be changes when it comes to a contract. So for some of you, your significant other can also talk to you about a, a change in a contract when it comes to work or signing a contract with two people and a female who's really conniving and vain um, but and she's a little insane and this person's going to talk to you about it because he's a well-meaning man but just being cautious of that because this woman's kind of like a um uh she's a bad mama jama don't 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 just as fine as she could be just as fine as she could be she's bad she's a brick house they kind of like that type of music my lovies um this woman's kind of a sleaze though and she uses sex to her advantage to get whatever she thinks she wants um anyways i don't think you have anything to worry about but it is in the periphery for some this is somebody that's going to be working with this person King of Diamonds, you got regional travel, international travel, distance moves, uh, people coming from a distance. For some of you, your significant other could be traveling. This is also a military person, so we did feel that for some of you, or someone in a uniform. So for some of you, uh, your your significant other can be returning from the military, or you, or you're traveling together. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You have news coming in for some of you official discharge papers. I am feeling that for some of you news or letters coming in for a, di for a distance or from a distance for your father or your significant other's father. Uh, for some of you seven of hearts energy if you want to get pregnant my lovies check today's reading uh seven of hearts energy uh new beginnings reconciliations uh seven of hearts energy celebrations for some of you, you could be reconciling with your significant other for some of you you could be learning a pregnancy for some of you there's a new beginning at a distance or new plans to to travel for some uh and it's gonna make you very happy for some nine of hearts energy uh you have if you're gonna get pregnant or you're gonna learn of a baby girl for some and really good news about a baby girl really good news about paperwork for some especially if you're waiting on paperwork for some type of discharge for some or some type of like offer letter i am getting you're waiting someone's waiting on an offer letter really good news when it comes to that as well for some from this organization for some somebody definitely works for the government uh paperwork from the government you're going to get really good news it's going to make you very happy for some of you someone has a new contract when it comes to government someone's uh, someone's a certified something or other really good news when it comes to a contract someone's an independent contractor for the government really good news as well when it comes to that success my loves I i'm telling you i i knew i felt after this my love is like i don't think we need to i feel it it just feels really good success happiness joy when it comes to your significant another i told you this is a king of clubs to a king of hearts to a queen of clubs situation you have the trinity in your couple for some god you it's you your significant other and the holy spirit how whatever it is not in a religious way but you know it's your your union is blessed it just feels you have no stress for some of you um again for some i do feel your significant other does have a child outside of your union and everything's going to be all right when it comes to his daughter especially projects for some of you with your significant other for some of you, you could be feeling very artsy or you and your significant other can be feeling very artsy or very arts and craftsy or very creative for some of you you and your significant other can create things i'm getting like create like online tutorials Tutorials or like funny videos online like very innocent stuff very cute stuff you got a brother a friend or a son here showing up as well for some 
who's going to be sick or for some of you again what did we say in the beginning helping your significant other's brother your significant other can have a brother and a sister or two brothers and a sister or your people that or two people or even if the brothers are not blood brothers because i am getting that for some for some of you there's worries about a brother for some and you're going to be able to help your significant other's brother because they this person is going to be sick or have some type of issue or this person could be worried about a child or worried about a young lady or worried about administrative paperwork or worried about a contract this person's waiting on news but they're going to be okay there are delays and this person's worried so maybe for some of you um until this person can get like more like maybe for some of you they're going to be temporarily staying with you maybe for some of you somebody's waiting like for work and your your significant other is like come to work with me just for a little while until something more stable comes up so very sweet energy very sweet and there's that jack of spades <laughs> what did we say i felt why am i feeling the jack of spades with the eight of spades you got four kings you have big changes here jack of spades with the eight of spades i felt it take what resonates leave what does not I'm just the messenger. For some, you have a genuine, beautiful, authentic couple. Hold on to that. For some, I do feel hex work, root work on a man so that he could be your man. I'm just the messenger. Take that how it resonates. Male, female. It's, I have to say what I have to say because that's what's coming in. And it's not authentic. It will never be. Someone put he uh, Hector. Someone put hex, hex work on a, root, on a root chakra of a man. To make him believe that they're in a serious couple and they're not. I'm just a messenger. <laughs> they feel put on the spot. I'm just a messenger. I'm seeing black magic. Eight of spades to the jack of spades is black magic. Spirit gave it to us. For some, it's not too good to be true. For a couple, it's a fucking facade and a lie. I'm just a messenger. And they want to die. Someone wants to die because of all the hex work that they've put. It's going to fall apart anyways. I'm just the messenger, my lovies. I am really just the messenger. Don't be mad at the messenger. The message is for you to do whatever you got to do. There's hex work on a man on his root chakra. Because somebody wants to reconcile with somebody. Or they want to have some type of new beginning. This person is also cursing somebody's new beginning that they see as their man. It's like, you don't love him from a hole in the wall. How, how is that your man? You don't love him. You would be willing to see him fall just so you can have him. That's not love. I'm just a messenger. I am just a messenger. For some of you, I would watch it with a brother. For some of you, there could be a, a fight between uh, a few men. Because eight of spades and jack of spades is not just hoodoo, voodoo, cuckoo, white magic, black magic, whatever. Negative manipulation of energy. Um, it's also for some... Spirit was giving us what's a coven. Uh, a coven is a group of people working together. And sometimes they turn into cliques. Um, a coven in spiritual systems, they exist all over. All around the world, in all types of environments, in corporate America, at your local gas station, wherever. It's a clique. People get clicky. And they turn into a coven. And certain people work together to better humanity. And others work together to not... To have things like this. Make people suffer just because they want them. Or clingy shit like this. Anyways, for some of you... Um, someone's trying to curse a pregnancy as well. Someone's trying to curse a pregnancy of a child. Uh, they will get their fucking karma for this. This is crazy. For some, if someone is trying to reconcile, there's someone trying to curse this reconciliation as well. For some, someone has a brother that plays with hex work. And for some, this is you. I felt him, my lovies. For some, this is you that's playing with black magic. Dark magic, manipulation, lies. Something about celebration, a cruise ship. For some of you, this is you. I'm just a messenger. For some of you, this is you. And when the queen of clubs and the queen of diamonds come out together, this is the quarant who's not doing the best stuff, my lovies. I'm just the messenger. When the queen of clubs and the queen of diamonds come out together, this is the quarant that is not in anybody's best interest. I am just the messenger. I think someone just needs time to heal. <laughs> Because somebody's just obsessed with this 
couple uh, uh, wanting to have a family manipulating and lying saying that she's pregnant when she's not all types of manipulation dark magic manipulations lies to delay a man from moving on that you don't even love because it's hard to love if you don't love yourself if i have to lie my way into a situation i probably don't love myself i'm just the messenger trying to curse somebody's new beginning trying to pay for spell work too i'm seeing black magic someone's doing the most and this is you I'm just the messenger. Spirit insists. If there's any denying it, it's you, my lovies. Something about Diana. Something about dirty Diana. Someone could be significantly older than a man. I don't know. This person will be willing to put him in a van. All types of shit. Extreme sex. Uh, okay. I thought we weren't going to work with it, but I think we are going to work with it and then we'll be done. 2511. And this person is angry, angry. She's angry. She feels angry. Don't be angry, my lovies. That shows you how, har how, how harmful you are to yourself and to others. I'm just a messenger, my lovies. And to your brothers. It could be, someone could be dragging their brothers into this drama. Like, I'll fight, like, get them, uh, this person would lie. Make up stories about what this man's done or not. To, I'm seeing this fucking crazy ass video I saw one time a long time ago. Spirit's giving it to us for a reason. This is the type of person, my lovies, this is someone watching this. <laughs> this is the type, something about Oscar. This is the type of person that would lie to her brothers and say, yeah, he hit me so that this 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 woman's crazy ass brothers can go and fight this man that did nothing to, this person's like coercing somebody into staying with her. This is fucking crazy over money you don't even love them i'm just a messenger i'm really just a messenger my lovies and only because this person's trying to leave somebody only because they're trying to leave jesus <laughs> only because they're trying to leave Fatal attraction. This is not love. Someone's a thug. A scorned lover holding on. Pretending to be the one. This is like this fucking smoking gun. The world's dumbest criminal. This person would be willing to commit a crime because she's lost her fucking mind. Interferes and blocks. A scorned lover holding on. Wanting someone to wait. I'm getting like doing anything to keep someone in a holding period. Maybe for some, somebody wants to move on with somebody else. And they already met the other, like the real one. And somebody doesn't want to let them go. <laughs> and so it's like, they, I mean, everybody has their, you know, for me, uh-uh. No, absolutely not. You're going to do what? No, 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 no. Let's involve the fucking cops. Maybe somebody has fucking family and authority. I don't know. Someone's crazy, my lovies. I'm just a messenger. Is This is sad. So it's like somebody's trying to keep somebody else waiting, bread coming, like kind of giving them hope. This person is definitely a cold-hearted snake. They are. They really want to get physical. Uh, they were online dating. This is. This person's really nuts. This is really nuts. It's like, at least be loyal. If you're going to be this crazy and not want to let this person go, at least be loyal. At least. You're too different, my lovies. When are you going to accept that? You're too different, 2811. Even if you have the same sins. Uh, some, same sins. Someone threatens somebody by blackmail. It's like, they have the same sins. They have the same missteps. Someone, like, sold somebody on, like, I'm loyal to you because I've done the same scandalous shit you've done. So somehow that makes us the one it's like no that's like saying like you fucking went to prison and this person committed murder you committed murder too and all of a sudden you're soulmates that's not how it fucking works it's like in, in fact you're just in a trauma bond so somebody's keeping somebody else waiting because they're fucking afraid of these crazy ass exes someone was dealing with messy people that are wanting to harm somebody else they they hate somebody else they watch them online or they were watching them online uh they want to try to fight <laughs> getting physical uh because they are cold-hearted snakes 
there's no love here there really isn't i told you cold-hearted snake i felt it very cold very calculating this is not about love this is about money and somebody doesn't want this i told you i felt the control through sex i felt it earlier because they're attacking his root so they try to control somebody through sex they talk a lot of shit they stalk people online talk a lot of shit so that somebody can lose their mind and not be interested in someone anymore. So they can't be interested in their true swin uh, swindlers. They're swindlers as well. Nothing but a runner. <laughs> They're playing games with this person. And they were spying through readings. They were addicted to spying on someone through, through readings. It looks like they've stopped for a little bit. A cold-hearted snake who's just a drama king or a drama queen. And they like freaky sex. They control through sex, but they are also violent with each other. This person hits this person. I am actually seeing a female that hits a man. I'm actually seeing a female that hits a man. I'm seeing a tall female, actually, that hits a man. This person, um, they don't want children with you. They are living a double life. I did feel that double life energy. I mean, with the online dating, it makes it clear. Uh, there's no future here. It is not for you. You are neglecting something that is good uh, or someone's neglecting something that is good because they're they're too busy being afraid with this person who is doing some type of porn. I told you, for some, I felt I had to specify when I got the videos because for some, I do feel like people are making wholesome videos and for others, somebody's making porn. And it's hard to understand. I don't think someone's in a relationship. I think someone is in a manipulationship. <laughs> Spying through reading, stalking people energetically, playing games, wanting someone to neglect someone while talking shit. This is the type of person, curse work, all types of curse work, making fun of somebody so that someone's not interested in them. This energy has been very present, all types of making fun of people, whether it be about their race, whether it be about their economic class, whether it be about their ass, because for some, someone talks shit about someone's ass. I don't know. For some of you, there's something about someone's ass that someone finds funny, but it's just all interferes and blocks to harm other people to keep them from moving on and they come on strong someone comes on strong because they want that money honey these are the type of people that pretend this is love in public <laughs> Something at Publix, uh, Publix, uh, something about a restaurant, something about Publix restaurant. There's a, oh, there's a public school or public house. That restaurant could be significant for some. They put on a show and they blame somebody else for everything they do. Blaming you for everything. Blaming somebody else for everything. Like, if this shit show were to end, this person would break up somebody else. Oh, they would break up somebody else. This person wants to break up somebody else? I don't know. There's that Penske truck again. They have some type of online platform. <laughs> uh, oh, they do threesomes, foursomes, tensomes, and more sums. Uh, sex orgies and parties to make videos to upload to OnlyFans so they can make money because that's all they give a damn about is money. Let them go, honey. Let them go. 3315. Let them go, my lovies. Let them go. Looking for replacements. You're going to find somebody else, my lovies, that's just traumatized until you figure out your lies inside of you, my lovies. Let them go. Someone found the one. Let them go, my lovies. Please, please, my lovies. I'm asking you. Your sister friend's asking you. Let them go, my lovies. It's not worth it. Let them go. Let them go. You don't want the karma. I mean, maybe you do because some of you, I mean, it looks like someone's really like hurt and damaged and they don't want to do the inner work. Let them go. You'll look for replacements. You'll find someone else. My lovies, it was in love. It was in love, my lovies. For some, someone is actually, and a few people are actually in love. For others, um, tell your brothers to relax, <laughs> pay your taxes for some. Just relax. Relax, my lovies. You don't need no drama. You'll find another victim. I'm just a messenger, my lovies. 
Anyways, uh, stay well, my lovey. Stay well. Stay well. Stay absolutely well because your sister friend loves you and adores you. Loves you and adores you. Spirit friends love you and adore you. Someone thought this relationship was going to be fun. <laughs> They're like, this is hell. Loves you. I don't care how much fucking kink. Someone is really depressed and you are draining him. You are killing him. I'm just a messenger. Your sister friend loves you and adores you. Loves you and adores you. A dark skinned female who's with, who's living with a light skinned man. Loves you. A dark skinned, light skinned, take it how it resonates. Loves you and adores you. And this queen of diamonds. You don't have this person's best interest in mind. Uh, a queen of wands in the reverse. Uh, someone that's willing to do anything for money. Uh, insecure, insincere. Uh, very, very promiscuous. Very, very loose. Jealous, envious, possessive, mean spirited, violent, apparently violent. Your sister friend loves you. Likes to likes to party, has all types of messy people, all types of messy friends, insincere friend groups, messy, three of cups in the reverse, two of pentacles, people that would do anything for money, but always are struggling anyway. I don't know. Sister friend loves you and adores you. And they need to kneel and repent. A bunch of people just hell-bent on hurting each other and hurting whoever they can, but they pretend to be friends. A Scorpio, queen of hearts. Someone wants to ask for forgiveness from a Scorpio, but it's like, or from a friend or from a sister or someone that they tricked the mister. They took somebody's man. You took somebody, for some of you, you took someone's man, my lovies. Someone that was your friend. I'm just a messenger. Just to compete. And you still feel defeated. That tells you a lot about what's inside of you. You never wanted this man. I'm just a messenger. You never wanted this man. Someone wanted a van. You never wanted this man, my lovies. Someone never wanted this man. They just wanted his money. And they also wanted to compete with someone that was actually their friend. Queen of hearts in the upright. So you sacrificed a good friend and a good man and a bunch of other people. Like what else? When are you going to stop, my lovies? I don't, I, I, it's just, it's not being put on the spot. The wonderful part about this, and I'm getting a call, so this is an emergency. The wonder, something about Paul, the wonderful Paul, uh, Paulina, the wonderful part about this is that it's kind of anonymous, but you know who I'm talking to, my lovies, because I'm channeling you. So maybe it's just, this is the only way that spirit can get this message to you. You took somebody from a friend that was actually a really good friend. And you became envious and insincere and insecure. And you sacrificed a good friend, a good man, and a whole bunch of other shit. Just because you are so in, you're impure inside of yourself. And spirit's like, just chill, heal. Envious, mean, stalker, harasser, liar. The separate person that would fucking scout you out. This energy's been present, so watch the general read for some. Pretend like they want to be someone's friend. That's actually a sincere person, just because they're so envious. The envy in somebody is just disgusting. They hate themselves, and so they hate others that they feel shine. They call themselves a child divine? A child divine is coming in. What does that mean? Fucking took a man from your friend. And called yourself... I don't know. I don't know. Red flag. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Someone's insane. Stalker. Liar. Harasser. Bully. Envious. Mean-spirited. Insincere. Insecure. immature spirit is to stay in your lane because you're just a fucking vampire stay in your lane because you're just a vampire an energy drainer i told you somebody is sucking the shit out of somebody's root chakra and i'm not talking about fucking sucking his dick i'm talking about living like his energy his life force someone is draining him Pretend to be his woman. You're not his woman. 
this is this is what you're coming out as. As Barry said, stay in your lane. Copycat, envious, try to look for some type. Like someone tries to look for successful personalities to copy so that she can impress this man. So it's like if she took him from a friend that, that he was interested in, this woman then started behaving like that friend because she's not a really good woman. She's not wifey. Male, female, take it how it resonates. It is coming in as a female. She's a thief. She's a liar. She wanted to end an opportunity, but something has not ended for somebody. When it comes to a couple, when it comes to a home, when it comes to uh, some type of living situation, I felt the thief was going to come out because she's a thief. She wanted to steal somebody's destiny, someone's home, someone's couple. She wanted to steal the Ace of Hearts energy. She wanted to steal. Thief. She wanted to take someone's opportunity. She wanted something not to come to maturity or come to pass for something. But something's not over. Something isn't over. Spirit gets the last laugh. It was all your test. It was nothing. It had nothing to do with the people involved. You will do this to anybody. Thief. She wanted to steal someone's destiny, someone's legacy. This person's a copycat and a thief. She copies and steals ideas, things from other people. She copies personality. She acts like she's neutral. Like, I don't get into those types of problems. This could be a sister for some <laughs> I don't get into those problems, but she fucking had no problem throwing you under the bus or you doing this to somebody, my lovies, to take somebody's fucking place. Someone tried to take somebody's place like in a family or in a couple or in a community. Someone that they envied. And for some, this is a sister. I'm just a, I'm just a messenger. Jesus. Your spirit friends. And your sister friend, and your spirit friends, and your sister friend. In love always, my lovies. In love always and forever. May everybody find their darn peace. Peace. <laughs> Jesus.